Welcome to Ruby Thursday. I'm Melissa Wanish. In today's Ruby snack, we'll be testing an admin feature with the gem Simple BDD. If you'd like to code along, you'll just need a Rails app created, RSpec installed and set up, a user, or in our case we're saying hacker, model created, and device installed and set up. You can check out these other videos, the demo on how to install RSpec Rails, and the previous Ruby snack in which we installed device and set up a user model. A quick recap of our gem file. If you've been following the Ruby Thursday videos, then you will already have the gem simple BDD in your gem file. But if not, please go ahead and add that now. Simple BDD offers basic behavior-driven development language syntax. It enables tests to take steps to become more declarative than imperative by hiding the implementation and revealing test intent. It can be used in any test framework, and it's just a way to keep the collaborative business language within a test by calling methods which directly relate to the step in the test. It's all about communicating quickly the purpose of the test. So maybe you have a fairly complicated test that you want to explain quickly at the top of your spec, and this is what Simple BDD was made to do. It also makes it really simple to reuse these code blocks throughout different tests in your app. You'll see what I mean as we get into it. Let's take a quick look at the GitHub repository for Simple BDD. It shows a little bit more about installation and some standard usage, as well as behavior usage. And here's how to get it set up in RSpec, and that's what we're going to do. So we'll need to add these two lines to our Rails helper. We'll require the gem, simple BDD, and then we'll configure the app to use it, especially when writing features. Moving into our text editor, I will open up in the spec folder the Rails helper. And we see we have require simple BDD here at the top. And then moving down to under our spec configure do, we'll add the line config include simple BDD for type feature. Let's get to the fun stuff and start writing our spec. So I'm going to use an example where we will test an admin feature. So the feature is called admin, and here's the simple BDD right up front. So we're going to communicate the test in the very first code block. So you'll see scenario is the admin sees hackers after login. Given that the admin is signed in, when the admin sees all hackers, then admin sees the first hacker. So this is in pretty much plain English for other developers to read your code and see what it's about. This could also be even more portable if I had used maybe admin sees user model after login, and then I can use it in different apps. And then these different steps might be different per your app, but the actual intent of the test is the same. So now we go ahead and set up the objects that we'll be using. So we'll be using an admin and we'll be using a hacker or a user. So I've used the bang or the exclamation point there because I'm going to need to persist these across the different steps. Next, we'll define the methods from the scenario. First up is the admin is signed in and you see basic steps to sign in an admin. Then it's admin views all hackers. And for today, I'm just going to include a simple link. There are lots of ways to handle this. Perhaps you would have an automatic redirect after sign in. Today, we're just using a simple link. Finally, the admin sees the first hacker. So we'll just test to expect the page to have the content of the hacker email. Moving back to our text editor, we will now add that new file. So under features, we will add a new file and save it right away as admin underscore spec dot RB. Now let's include that lovely code in the file and save. Now let's run the spec to see where we need to start in making the spec pass. So we'll run just the one spec with our spec, spec, features, admin spec.rb. So we'll see where is it pointing us to. Okay, there is no link for admin to sign in. So first we need to set that up. I've written up a little HTML here that we can include in our application HTML. Just a simple link for the new admin. I'm also going to go ahead and add the link to the hacker list so that you'll already have it. And I'm going to use the device helper admin signed in to only show it for admins who are signed in. 
Jumping back into our text editor, let's go into App, Views, Layouts, and that application. And we're just going to add it here right above Yield. Now if we ran our spec again, we would get an error about the new admin session path not being a route. So let's go ahead and set up the device model for admin. So we'll use Rails G device admin to create that model and then rank db migrate to run the migration. Opening up our terminal into the app, we will go ahead and run the Rails G device admin. That creates our lovely model. And next we will go ahead and rake db migrate. I don't need to change the migration file for this admin. If you needed your admin to have the same capabilities as your user, I would instead do this a different way and include a new column on the user model and have it be maybe a boolean saying admin yes or no, or a role where you could include the text admin. Next we need to go ahead and create a new factory. So we're going to use factory girl and faker to include an email and device will give us a friendly token for our password. Back in our text editor, let's go ahead and edit that factory that was created when we created the model. So we will just include those two lines so that we have what we need for the admin. Now, yes, let's check in and run our spec again to see where we are in making it pass. Let's see, so we have a new error, which is great progress. So we're not finding the text for the hacker email. Let's take a look back at our spec and see what we've done so far. So we have that the admin is signed in and actually that it goes ahead and sees the view of all hackers. So we, now we need to work on that the admin sees the first hacker. To make that view, let's actually first make the admin controller with the method hacker list. So that will also create the view for us. So we're going to use the rails generate command to create the controller in our controller class. We will define the hacker list and I'm going to include the device helper authenticate admin to make sure only admins can see this view. And we'll include that we can see all of the hackers. Now you may want to think about including another scenario in which you test that only admins can in fact see the view. That's important for apps that need to focus on security. For example, a banking app or one that has a lot of personal information. Heading back to our terminal, let's run that command to generate the new controller. Moving to our text editor, let's edit that new controller. So it's controllers, admin, and include the two lines that we need. Our final step is to include the HTML that will have the hacker email. We will use a simple table to do that, very similar to an index file that is automatically created when you scaffold something. We'll include the hacker email as well as the created date to see when they joined. Back once again to our text editor, we'll open up that hacker list view and instead include the table, which will include all the hacker emails. And we're checking for the first one with that in place. Let's run our spec again. And this time we have accomplished our goal. I'd like to give a shout out to Robbie Clinton. I hope I'm saying that right for creating simple BDD. He wrote a couple of great articles that I used in creating this example. Be sure to check those out. Earlier I mentioned using simple BDD to create code blocks that you can reuse in other apps. This week I challenge you to refactor the method admin is signed in so you can use it in multiple places in your app. Signing in is something you do a lot in spec so it's good to be able to pull that out and make it reusable. Share what you would do in the notes down below and I'll share my solution next week. Want more free Ruby snacks? Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on that button right there. And if you are not already on my mailing list, head on over to rubythursday.com where you can sign up to receive Ruby Thursday awesomeness in your inbox. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the notes below. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and see you soon.